Knock this in. 31 pickup right here. Smart, smart. Don't think about our offense. Guard for me, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. Down. Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray is presented by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame Basketball is also brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. Hello again, Irish fans, and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray. I'm Jack Nolan, and Coach, since our last show, a lot has gone on. A big win over Indiana down in Indianapolis, a heartbreaking loss to Ohio State. You lost Jaron Grant for the season, and then you bounced back with a big win over Canisius. We have had a lot happen over the holidays. So proud of our group in Indianapolis. Heartbreaking in the garden against Ohio State. We will miss Jaron, but it's great that we will get him back, and our new group, won a big game against Canisius. And we will start our show by showing you all the highlights of Notre Dame's big win over the Hoosiers in Indianapolis right after this time. When you have the most live college football, food's ready. Okay, coming. All you want to do is watch college football. With Xfinity from Comcast, you get the most live college football, including ESPN Go Line and Watch ESPN. You can't get all that with satellite, so switch to the Xfinity HD Premier XZ Triple Play or ask about other bundles starting as low as $99 a month for a year. You're all for the most live sports. Xfinity. One more, one more. Let's go, yo. Woo! Uh, uh, uh. No. Ready, one more. One more. One more, time. Come on. one more, one more. One more, let's get it, let's go. Ah. Proven hydration to help replace what you sweat out. One more championship. One more championship. Let's go. Coach, after your loss to North Dakota State, not many folks gave you a chance of beating Indiana in Indianapolis, but you jumped out to a big early lead. You never let the Hoosiers lead in that game. Well, I was worried about our psyche, but we came back to practice Thursday and Friday in preparation for Indiana with a great frame of mind. And you're right, we got off to a good start. There's nothing like getting off to a good start. It was definitely a road game atmosphere, and Jaron really did get us started with probing. Great extra pass here by Demetrius Jackson, and Eric Atkins gives us the first points of the game with a three. Uh, but great ball movement. Sherman in the post. Garrick, nice tempo right there. Gets his feet set. Low post feeds to Garrick. Sherman are good for us. Good rotation by Sherm right there. Coming over and being big on that drive and rotating. We come back in early offense right here. And Jaron is feeling pretty good. That's a deep three right there. Nothing like getting started on the road. Great pass. We've did a good job on out of bounds under situations executing. Here's another one. Out of bounds under, slipping a big guy. Zach got a layup. Tom got a layup. Ball screening situation here. Tom slips it, and we get him for that 15 foot jump shot. That's something he can do for us. Knock down that 15 footer. Sherm in the post. Great tempo. He loves to come back to that left hand, and he is playing with such confidence right now, Jack. Us on the defensive end, there's Sherm again with a great presence, overplay steal. We slide into the mid post area, and Sherm again with a tough move over the top. His tempo is so good. Throwing it into the post, this time Zach August inside. Deep post position always helps us. Sherm at the foul line misses, but here's Tom Knight. Our big guys did a fabulous job pounding away on the Indiana front line. To end the half, out of bounds under. They misread a switch. That's a big momentum play to get a three right there. But out of bounds under execution really helped us. Again, Jaron with a probe finds Pat Connaughton, and Pat gets going in the second half. Was quiet in the first half. How about this drive right here? This is a powerful, controlled drive by Pat Connaughton, who was such a spark for us in the second half. Back screen, an entry we run. Pat with a big finish. Pat giving us confidence. Again, zone right here. Jaron with a probe. We find Pat in front of our bench. Big bucket right there with about four minutes to go to give us a two possession lead. And we ice it right here with our four up look. Little UCLA cut. 
Eric Atkins. I loved our poise, Jack, uh, because we had game pressure on us. Jaron, 11 for 11 from the foul line, and as a team, we made free throws. Just to relieve pressure here, we throw it long, but really a heck of a win for us to beat Indiana down there kind of on their turf, to bounce back after a tough loss in the middle of the week. The final stats show an evenly played game with Notre Dame excelling on the free throw line, making just under 78% from the charity stripe, including that 11 for 11 performance from Jaron Grant, who had a game high 23 points. Now, coming off that unexpected loss at home to North Dakota State, the Irish got great leadership from their veterans in the win. I think confidence wise, this, this one's huge for us. You know, everybody counting us out right away coming into this game. Um, so, so to get this one is huge for us. We knew we didn't have to panic. We were still the same team. You know, North Dakota State's a very good team, so it wasn't necessarily as bad a loss as it looked from the, from the outside as it was inside. So we just knew we had to bounce back and play hard today and compete a little better. We found out that when we bring the intensity, we bring the defensive focus, that we can we can play with a lot of great teams in this uh, in this country. We're not good enough to do it in spurts, though. We have to do it all the time, play in, play out, 20 minutes in the first half, 20 minutes in the second half. And that's something that we did tonight, and we were able to come out with a win. Veteran leadership is always an important part of your teams. You build for that, and they came through throughout the last three weeks. Well, we like to stay old, Jack, and this group is old. And, and again, our veterans were fabulous in a game we really needed. We were loose. We were attacking. Um, it certainly was a good bounce back after a tough midweek loss. Now, after the Indiana game, it was time for final exams and then a trip to New York to take on an Ohio State team that shared the number two ranking in the country with Syracuse in the coaches' poll. And the Irish again surprised their doubters by almost pulling off one of the biggest upsets of the season. All the highlights are coming up right after this timeout. like to try new things. Now we have bold new tastes like never before. You like things made by hand. We're now grilling up freshly made egg whites. You like to cool down. We just added a refreshing new smoothie. You get wrapped up in things. We're introducing new delicious ways for you to eat. There's no one quite like you. Now more than ever, there's something for everyone to love at McDonald's. Be in our app. Go to I'mLovingIt.com. Sprint honors Chris and Craig's texts on our new network. Think you'll go out tonight? Probably not. But maybe. I'm kind of tired. But I also kind of want to go out. Me too. Well, text me if you do. Okay. But I probably won't. But I might. In honor of the important things you do, get the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 for just $49.99 with data starting at just $5 a month. Coach, unlike the Indiana game, you did not jump out to a big early lead against Ohio State. You really had to battle, but you came back in the second half and put yourselves in position to pull off an upset. No, you're right, Jack. I don't think we were in a very good rhythm offensively in the first half, and you got to give credit to Ohio State. They're an excellent defensive team. Our defense was good enough in the first half, kept us in the basketball game. We move it here. The one thing that was constant is this guy scoring for us. Garrick Sherman continues to kind of take pressure off of us by scoring the ball, especially early in the game. He probably was really our only offensive guy that felt comfortable in the first half. Nice probe by Jaron right here, getting to the basket. Good hard drive right there by him. Good in transition where we get a steal and Jaron finding his roommate there, Eric Atkins on the baseline. So some good stuff, but every bucket in the first half was hard to get. Kind of run a little entry here. We get a lot off of this fade screen circle action, especially Pat Connaughton coming off of that thing. Great move by Jaron. Strong drive right there. And we're staying within striking distance, even though we don't have a very good rhythm on the offensive end. That's just a heck of a move by a big guy. That's beautiful footwork by Garrick Sherman right there. Second half, first possession. 
We get off to a good start. Eric Atkins didn't have a good first half, but man, did he have a second half. And we're starting to believe a little bit. We're getting into our offensive rhythm. Ball screening situation, Jaron reads it, 15-foot jump shot. Again, our offensive rhythm here in the second half, completely different. Nice curling screen right there. Pat cutting hard to the bucket. Our circle entry again, little ball screen. D does a good job kind of probing, and he finds Pat Connaughton for a big three-point shot. Gives us our first lead, and now you're starting to believe. Jaron with a nice drive. Demetrius with a big shot. So proud of Demetrius Jackson in Madison Square Garden playing with big-time poise. Real good find here. Demetrius with a good probe again. What a great cut by Pat Connaughton right there. And we're in a great rhythm, and we're starting to feel confident. Good ball screen. Eric with a probe. Garrick Sherman taking what the defense gives him. That little runner right there, he's probably shooting about 60%. Another ball screen for Jaron into the lane. Now Eric probes and shoots the runner, and we're feeling pretty darn good about a lot of things. Jaron Grant here, end of clock. He's got a big guy on him. Step back, jump shot. Really feeling good, up eight. But here's where it starts. You know, we get caught in a trap here, turn it over, and we get a little erratic and a little panicky. Ohio State with a bucket, you know, and cuts it to four right there. Here we get a little quick again, kind of jumping in the air in a trap, and they get a deflection and we foul. Uh, and, and we're just a little, our veteran guy's a little flustered. Demetrius Jackson with two big free throws. Two big ones. He is making big free throws at crunch time for us. He did it in the Canisius game as well. We're in zone, we recover out, and just a tough extra reach like there by Pat to foul a three-point shot, and that kind of puts you in a tough spot. They probe our zone and get a layup right there, and now we're fighting for our life and just can't finish it, and really a disappointing loss for us, Jack, as well as we played for 39 minutes, just could not finish the game with some mistakes in the last 50 seconds. You never led in the first half, but you shot 63% in the second half and held Ohio State to 35% shooting in that half and 0 for 9 from three-point land. But as you mentioned, you just couldn't hold that lead in the final minute. So the big picture, the fans will say, well, you blew the big lead, but they were tied for the second spot in the coaches poll, number three in the AP poll. Nobody thought you could win. 39 really good minutes that you can build on. Well, there's no question, you know, crushing night in the garden uh, because not only do we lose the game, but that's Jaron's last game. So we're dealing with a lot of things right there after the game. But there were some positive how fearlessly we played and the offensive rhythm we got into and certainly something you can build on. Yes, the team knew as they left Madison Square Garden that Jaron Grant would be leaving the team. And the Monday before Christmas, the announcement was made publicly that Jaron Grant would be academically separated from the Notre Dame basketball team for the second semester. So Notre Dame's leading scorer was gone with just one non-conference game remaining before the start of the ACC schedule. We'll show you how the Irish responded against Kenny right after this timeout. You guys get back to campus the night after Christmas for practice. You're coming off a heartbreaking loss. You've just lost your leading scorer. What did you say to him? Well, you know, we, uh, we were really upbeat because we talked a little bit about it in the garden afterwards. Like, this was a new season. We're starting all over again without Jaron. Nine available guys, you're all going to play. I think they came back with a very upbeat attitude because they know some guys that weren't playing were going to get a chance to get in there. We had great preparation leading up to Canisius, which we had our frame of mind was good. I was proud that our leadership really stepped up because we had a battle on our hands with a very good Canisius team. Eric gets us started with a big three-point shot. Zach August on the board, BJ pounding the board, Pat pounding the board, but Zach August gave us really good minutes off the bench, scoring the ball, rebounding the basketball for us. Uh, Eric with a probe here, we get a ball screen. Great poise by our point guard to find Zach on a roll low in the shot clock. Versus pressure right here, we do a good job hitting the middle guy. Demetrius catches and faces, throws to Austin Burgett. And here's another guy who maybe had not been playing so well, but is back in rhythm. Austin Burgett with a three-point play right there. Zach August feeling confident, getting better, really trending up since the Indiana game. And man, do we need him now in this new season. Love this move by our freshman, V.J. Beecham. 27 minutes. In a, in a game and, and really played very, very well for us. Transition here, how about a senior guard right here? This is a senior guard. Behind the back, 
layup, pushing it in transition. Eric Atkins was so clutch for us. He refused to let us lose the basketball game. Zach here in transition gives it up to Pat. Just a nice, easy play right there uh, for Pat Connaughton, taking what the defense gives him. Overplay right here. That was Demetrius Jackson's ball pressure that started that. Throw ahead situation early in the half. Demetrius to Tom Knight gets us going a little bit in the second half. Baseline entry, Pat with a runner, Tom Knight with a tip in. Tom gave us some really good stuff off the bench. He continues, big, big bucket here. Eric Atkins was flat out fabulous, Jack. Just would not let his team lose in a game where we needed it. Big rebound by Steve Vastori. Look at us running in transition. We stretch the defense. Steve trails the play. And man, that gives us a lead right there. Big play by Steve Vastoria in 20 minutes. Cut by Pat Connaughton, opens up that step behind three for Eric Atkins. Nice pass by Garrick Sherman. VJ with active hands, his length can help defensively. We get an easy bucket, but VJ Beecham's defense. How about the fearlessness here? Down two, boom, will put us up one. Atkins off and out of bounds under. Big drive by Barron and Billy Barron was flat out fabulous. Uh, 33 points, he was hard to handle. Nice drive by Pat. Sherm with a three-point play right there on a curling situation. Sherm makes the free throw. Eric with the drive. We kick it low in the clock. We miss the three, but Sherm on the backboard for a really big putback at a key time right there. And we escape with a real hard-fought overtime win in a, in a win we needed, and I'm really proud of our group because we were kind of reinventing for three days leading up to this game. A strong shooting performance from the floor and the free throw line earned you this come from behind win, led by a career high 30 points from senior and three time captain Eric Atkins, who also had seven assists. He is the first player in the history of this program to be a three time captain, and I think he validated your decision. Yeah, he's. Um He's such a man, and he knew, we talked after the game against Ohio State, that uh, his leadership's going to be even more important and, and challenging, and he delivered. We will ask this week's Ask Coach Bray question, and Eric Atkins runs the fast break right after this timeout. Before they earned enough cash back from Bank of America to help pay for Benny's expenses, before they earned 1% back on all purchases, everywhere, every time, and 2% back at the grocery store, even before earning 3% back on gas, with no hoops to jump through. They opened a Bank AmeriCard Cash Rewards credit card just in time to open their hearts. That's the magnitude of rewarding connections. Apply online or at a Bank of America near you. Customer Aaron Swenson ordered shoes from us online, but they didn't fit. Customer's not happy, I'm not happy. Sales go down, I'm not happy. Merch comes back, I'm not happy. Use UPS, they make returns easy. Unhappy customer becomes happy customer. Then, repeat customer. Easy returns, I'm happy. Repeat customers, I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. I ordered another pair. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Brave question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes from Jamie from Mishawaka, Indiana, who asks, Coach, how do you decide whether to play man-to-man -man or zone defense? Great question, Jamie, and I think it's all just a kind of what's the rhythm of a game. Sometimes a team can get into a comfortable rhythm against your man-to-man, -man, running their man-to-man -man stuff, so you play zone just to change their rhythm. Uh, if there's not as many shooters on the floor, maybe you play a little bit more zone. When we're big, which we are a lot of times, sometimes it's a matchup problem. So zone helps our big guys not be stretched out on the floor. It's kind of a feel and we're a changing defense. That's who we are. Irish fans, if you would like to ask Coach Bray a question, all you have to do is log on to UND.com and click on Ask Coach Bray in the rotating boxes in the middle of the main page. You can also submit a question at Coach's weekly radio show, Thursday nights at 7 at O'Rourke's Public House. With his 30-point, 7-assist performance against the Golden Griffins of Canisius, Eric Atkins became the first Notre Dame player to win ACC Player of the Week honors. That performance also earned him the right to run this week's Inside Notre Dame Basketball Fast break. Favorite all-time movie? Friday Night Lights. Get up early or sleep in? Sleep in. Who was your role model? Um, Malcolm Delaney. One thing the public would be surprised to learn about you? I really like to sing. Favorite NBA player? 
Where's Armando? Player on the team most like you. Uh, VJ. Team not on the schedule you would like to play. Um, Drexel. Favorite Notre Dame game day uniform? Our gold jerseys. One thing Coach Bray says that always sticks in your head. Um, burn it. Burn. Assistant coach who is most like Coach Bray? Uh, coach Bologna. Best passer on the team? Me. Best shooter on the team? Uh, VJ. Best defender on the team? Um, me. Best dunker on the team? Uh, Pat Crowley. Worst dunker on the team? Um, Jan Grant. Free throw contest, who wins, you or Coach Bray? Uh, me. Sure. <laughs> Good, confident leader of your team. Right? Yeah, boy, he's uh, so proud of that guy. He has given us poise and confidence, and he is leading in a tough situation. Very proud of him. And he's about to become a member of a very elite club. Yeah, for him to go 1,000 points and 500 assists is unique uh, in our program. It just tells you how consistent this guy has been, even as a freshman. He just needs nine more assists to do that to join Tory Jackson, Chris Thomas, Elmer Bennett, and David Rivers, pretty good group. As we go to break, we take you back to the closing seconds of the first half of Notre Dame's win over Indiana for this week's ATI Physical Therapy Moment of the Week. Atkins gets it to Grant, open three, got it! At the buzzer, 47-42. They not only go to the half with the lead, they go to the half with a five-point lead. You work hard for the money you earn. I've got just enough. That's why Meyer carries the name brand toys, electronics, and video games you love. All at low Meyer prices. Because even superheroes like to save money. Meyer makes the best things in life even better. I'm very happy I made the switch. It's easy. They're great. As I go out, being nervous about going out into the world. You switch because... For what you get and what, what they give back. Of the people. It just be another thing that I know is there for me all the time. It's a no-brainer. It's about family. It's about values. It's about doing things the right way. And that's why I'm sticking with them. You just get sucked in. And it's great. We're there. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. You know you're going to get the best when you go to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. You're actually in the ACC a year earlier than you expected, but this game, since the announcement came out you were joining this year, has been the one everybody's been looking at. A lot of build up for this game, our first ACC game, playing a program like Duke University. Certainly uh, playing against Mike Krzyzewski, a guy that has meant so much in my development, and, and uh, uh, I'm thankful for my years at Duke. But uh, what a great way to start. A very talented team, uh, Duke, scoring the basketball. Not playing many big guys, kind of a lot of forwards and guards, but great opportunity in our first Atlantic Coast Conference game. And you know the crowd's going to be huge for this game. They'll also be huge Tuesday night. Well, we need them on Tuesday, too. I know they'll be great and loud uh, uh, you know, today against Duke, but we need them at 9 o'clock. Uh, conference games, you get into conference regular season play, one-game win streaks are huge, and that's what we're trying to get to start this thing off. Coach, thanks and good luck. Thank you. We, of course, will have all the highlights of the Duke and NC State games on next week's show. Until then, thanks for watching, and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray has been presented by Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame Basketball is also brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.